So recently I did a cash collection on all of my vending machines. I have four machines. In this video, I'm gonna be fully transparent. I'm gonna do a full breakdown of exactly how much profit I made after all of my expenses. So without wasting too much time, we're gonna get straight into it. I do cash collection for all the machines within the same week. Some vending machines in certain locations perform better than others. In a typical month, on average, I collect between three to 400 pounds per each vending machine monthly. In my last collection, I collected 1,384 pounds and 70 pence. So the biggest question is, how much of this is profit? And that's exactly what we're gonna get into now. So in order to get a clear insight into what the profit is, I'm gonna go over some of the running costs. So first of all, the main cost is commission. Now, when it comes to my locations, I pay between 10 to 20% commission. When it comes to commission, 20% in places might seem high, but the reason why I pay a bit more commission in certain locations is because those locations are more lucrative. They make more profit, so therefore I can justify paying that little bit extra in commission. So for this video, just for the sake of numbers and to make things a little bit easier, because I pay between 10 to 20% for commission across various machines. To make it easy, I'm gonna go halfway in the middle and use 15% for our calculation for how much profit we've actually made. So after commission, the next cost is stock and fee. So when it comes to stock, previously I got my stock from a wholesaler, which is fine, it worked great. I was able to get good margins on that. It was good for profit. However, I personally have a local supplier now that works out a little bit cheaper for me, so I'm able to maximize my profits just a little bit more. So when it comes to stock, I typically spend around 200 pound each month on stock. The very final cost that I have is actually a cost that I really do not mind paying, and that is insurance. The reason why I don't mind paying insurance at all is because insurance just protects my business and it protects customers as well. Within that insurance, I get public liability cover, which is the most important thing to have. When it comes to insurance, I'm paying 60 pound a month for insurance, but I find that every single penny is worth it when it comes to insurance, just for the protection that you get. So from the initial figure that we have, after all the costs are taken off, we're left with 916 pounds for the month. Now you can certainly argue that this isn't a whole lot of money. However, the main thing to consider with vending machine businesses is that they're highly passive in nature. For example, I'm a vending machine business, managing multiple machines. I'm only spending less than three hours a week on my vending machine business. Although it may not be the largest sum of money, especially for the time that you put into it. It's only a few hours and for the money that you get back, I definitely would say that it's worthwhile. I definitely do think that's a good sum of money for the work that you're actually putting into the business. It's a very, very passive business in nature. Another thing about vending machine businesses is that they are highly scalable. By me buying one more vending machine and securing one more location, I can take that figure closer to a thousand pounds consistently each month, which is a much nicer figure to round that off to. Vending machine businesses are highly scalable, and just by buying multiple machines, you can double or triple your money for every single machine that you buy. It's all about scalability and expansion. So that is it for today, guys. Hope you found that video interesting. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Again, thank you for watching.